What's up, guys? So today we're going to be checking out the 93 overall team MVP Chris Ivory speed run style. Six feet tall, 90 speed. Now check this out. 99 carry, 98 truck, 99 stiff arm, 91 strength. It does not take a genius to figure out what you're going to do with this kind of card when he's on the field. Now, he's not the most elusive back in the world. He's only got 84 agility and 82 elusiveness and 87 juke. So I wouldn't try juking people with this card. But, I mean, that's not what you think about when you get Chris Ivory on your team anyways. This is this is what you think about here. Stiff arms for days, man. When I got him on my team to test him out, all I wanted to do was test out that stiff arm. That 99 stiff arm. And just look at that, man. It's just ridiculous. Now, when I was running with him, I noticed something similar about him. I was like, who does this guy remind me of? And it hit it and then you know it it just hit me it was that flashback Steven Jackson card this guy m you know in terms of Madden man he just might be Steven Jackson's uh little brother man because the way he runs man is so damn similar it's crazy man all he does is break that first tackle and then you know what you do after that is completely up to you you see right here he just breaks that first tackle so so just goes that, st <laughs> that stiff arm man it's just ridiculous man I mean just look, man. He just stiffs on these people, and then he he drags them for about five or six yards. And there aren't that many cards that I get that I end up keeping after I do a review. That uh, Jimmy Smith card is probably the one of the only few cards that I got just for a review, but end up keeping. This guy might be another one I end up keeping after the review. Now you see right here, he breaks away because he, you know, he only has 90 speed. But you see right here, he actually does get caught from behind. I mean, I did score, but that you know, that's one of those few occasions where he's gonna break, you know, those uh, empty runs. You know, most runs he's gonna have to earn those yards, like this right here. Very rarely is he gonna just get in open space and then just you know just take off with that speed. That's not gonna happen very often. If you want to break off 20, 30 yard runs, you're gonna have to earn them. Right here, I want to test out that carry rating, you know, and you know it did a fairly good job. I mean, he did not cough up the ball once. I ran with, I played, you know, one and a half season with him. I didn't. Did not play a full two seasons. I only played one and a half. But, you know, I saw everything I needed to see. You know, he just never coughed the ball up, which is always nice. You know, nothing worse than having a, a running back just fumble the ball and, uh, uh, you know, kill your drive. But you see right here, man, he just never coughed it up once. So if you get him on your team in or if you're worried about that, don't be. You see right here, uh, he's not going to break every tackle. Of course, he's one-on-one -on -one right here. He's not guaranteed. It does happen a lot. But... You know, not every time, you know, not every time he's going to get, uh, break that first tackle. I say, you know, when I was playing, I would say you have about an 85% chance of breaking that first tackle. And right here, I want to test out his hands. He's only got like a 62 catch. It's not that good, but, you know, I had to test it out anyways. And to be honest, it, it, it didn't, you know, it never showed. I mean, yes, he's, you know, most of these passes, you know, he's got to step on the, on his uh, defender, like right here, he's got to step on him. But, you know, I've had running backs with that kind of with that kind of catch rating just drop open passes, and it would just be crazy. But right here, man, he was doing a fairly good job of catching the ball. So, you know, if you need to, you know, I guess you could throw it to him. It's not, you know, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing it every play, but it is, you know, possible. Now, my nickname for this guy is Second Chance because what he does a lot is even if a play is dead in the back, like right here, look, this play is dead, but he actually gives you a second chance, man. What could have been a five-yard loss, he turns into a two-yard gain, you know, consistently. Look right here. This is easily a five-yard loss, but he just gives you that second chance, man. Look at that nasty stiff arm, too, man, just to go along with it, man. Right here, you can look at it. It's like a seven-yard loss, but what does he do? He gives you that second chance, man. It is ridiculous man so if you guys have have like a speed back or something man and you're looking for a solid power back i'd say go with this guy this guy will get you those tough yards that you need man i know he goes for about 150k but you know i'd say it's, I, I would anyways guys that's going to be the end of this review my final thoughts do i think he's worth 150k yeah i'd say so that's about what he's worth you know he's a good he's a good back all around back uh you know, like I said, he reminds me a lot of uh, Flashback Jackson, uh, Steven Jackson. Um, you know, like I said, he's not the most elusive back. You know, I don't recommend trying to juke or anything like that with him. Just put his head down and truck through some guys, see if you get him yards. Mr. Second Chance, man, that's what I call him. That's what he is, man. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all boys later. Peace.